In this video, I will show you how to use the if module in N8N. So let's review fastly the documentation. If is a basic module in every uh, automation platform. So you have a condition. So it could be a date, it could be a matching text, it could be numbers, it could be uh, everything. And you can combine multiple condition with and or or. If you use and, uh, you will need that all of your condition are true to go to the true pass. And if you use or, you only need one condition to be true to go to the true pass. As I said, you can have uh, multiple type of conditions. Uh, so you can have it on string. So this is text. You can see if it exists, not exist, empty, equal, contain, start with, end with, etc. You have numbers. So if it exists, empty, equal, greater than, less than, etc. Date and time uh, exist empty equal after before. Boolean, so this is basically true or false. Exist empty true false. Array, so uh, if an element exists is empty, if the array contain the length of the array is equal to, not equal, greater, uh, less, etc. And finally, you have object. So this is uh, an item in an 8n where you have under this item multiple uh, sub-parameter. So for example, let's say the item is uh, a person and you have uh, in sub-parameter, you have the eyes, the color of the hair, uh, the skin, etc., etc. And you can see for this object if it exists, if it's empty, etc. So let's go back on N8N. So this is a basic workflow to illustrate this and see how the if module is working. So here we'll try to see if a website is accessible or no. And if it is, we'll do something. And if it's not, we'll do another thing. So we have a basic trigger. Then we do an HTTP GET request. So here we test the website n10.io. And I included the header and the status here. But as you can see on the right side, the output is just the HTML code. So let's uh, open the IF node. So here, uh, I just went on the header. I went on status code. I slide it uh, here. And we want to check if this is equal to 200. So a status code is a code that will uh, indicate the state of the website. For example, you might know uh, the well-known 404 uh, error code. That is a status code. Uh, and if it is 200, that means that uh, everything is fine. As we've seen, you can also include other conditions. So it could be AND, OR, OR. But let's say I selected AND. We could also check if uh, the status message, I don't know what it is, but uh, is OK. So I would uh, slide this here, compare it by a string, because we want to have exactly OK, and equal to. And here I would write OK. Uh, so this is basically how this is working. And uh, as you can see, because the status code is 200, it went in the true branch. Otherwise, it would have gone in the false branch. And after it, you can uh, continue your automation. For example, if it's false, uh, you could have uh, send a message uh, to your Slack. If it's working, you could have done nothing. Uh, and you have a lot of possibility depending on your use case. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any question regarding the if node in N8N. Thank you for watching.